Dr. Schmidt, so I have five case studies to go over with you. The first three are related to lactate, which is a sign of chronic illness. And then the, the last two have to do with um, heart sound recorder, which is an easy to read graph. It's very far reaching and very profound, but it's easy to read and easy to do. So let's just jump in on the lactate um, stories. So lactate is a waste product in the blood and it's okay if you're an athlete to have it in your blood, but if you're chronically ill, let's say you have diabetes or maybe you had a heart attack years ago, you don't want to have high lactate. It's your liver and your kidneys that clear out the lactate. And maybe you have like low functioning liver or kidneys, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease from eating too many carbs, um, maybe a low filtration rate in your kidneys from diabetes, from eating too many carbs. And it usually comes down to eating too many carbs, a standard American diet. So I have a lactate meter in my office. I actually have two of them. They cost about 300 bucks. The first example is a person that had their lactate level was 4.2. And it should be, like I said, less than 1.5. And I put this person on the right supplements and I had them eat meat and nothing else. And one day later, now their lactate level is 1.8. During this time and for the previous five days, they did no exercise. When you work out, you can break down muscle tissue and you can burn up sugar in your in your body and your liver and you end up with lactate in the blood. They did not do this. So it was the supplements and the diet alone that dropped their lactate down to normal in one day. The second example is somebody who was lactate in the morning was 3.5. And then four hours later, I, I put this person on a cataplex B, 10, and Cataplex B was made in 1934 to fix lactic acidosis. And four hours later, after taking 10 Cataplex B, this person's lactate went from 3.5 to 3.0. So he dropped his lactate 0.5 in four hours with this supplement. The next example is a person who, over the course of uh, uh, one day or two days, went from 2.1 to 1.5. So he was normal in a, one day. And then uh, the next day was 1.3. So his lactate was dropping over the course of three days to normal, again, based on supplements and diet. So when you look at, you don't want to treat lactate because the treatment for lactate is baking soda and it doesn't work and it's in the research. So when people are in the hospital, they had a heart attack, they got cancer, they got five days left to live. They give these people baking soda or they used to and it didn't extend their life. It didn't have any effect at all because they were treating lactate. You gotta look at this holistically. This is the importance of holistic medicine. You're looking at the body from head to toe. You're knowing the physiology of, of the blood and how it affects the cells and the tissues and the organs. And so that's the value of holistic medicine is that you actually get really good answers and you understand the physiology and how to reverse the death cycle uh, with high lactate. So the death cycle, again, is lactic acidosis. You go through one cycle of it, you get minus 4 ATP. As opposed to having your mitochondria functioning optimally, and you get 30 to 36 ATP every time you run through the mitochondrial uh, system called oxidative phosphorylation. That's the name of it. So your choice is minus 4 ATP, or you can have 30 to 36 ATP. ATP is energy. Now in the middle is burning sugar. And that's what all the vegans do. That's the standard American diet. That's all the rice and the bread and the pasta and, and never getting into ketosis. How much ATP do you get from burning sugar? Two. Two ATP is very close to lactic acidosis. You wanna get into ketosis and enhance mitochondrial function. All right, the next two uh, case studies have to do with uh, the machine called the heart sound recorder. So what this machine does, it measures function of the heart. It's not pathology. It's how well is your heart functioning? Does it have good nutrition? And so really there's two main things that it boils down to. Number one, is the nervous system of the heart well fed? And number two, is the structure of the heart correct? So if your heart is beating normally, the valves line up properly. If your heart is beating abnormally and the structure is weird, the valves don't line up properly and you get weird uh, motions from the heart. This, this heart sound recorder records the motion of the heart muscle that, as an organ. And it's not correctly named. It shouldn't be called the heart sound recorder. It should be called the heart motion recorder, but 
whatever. I didn't make this. I didn't create the machine. So anyways, let's look at some of these graphs that are measuring the electricity of the heart and the motion of the heart and therefore how the valves are lining up. And then I'll give you the implications and the results of uh, nutritional deficiencies and then nutritional sufficiencies to see the difference between the two. The next case study then is this HSR and I want to show you the normal. So at the top of this graph you can see the heart going lub, space, dub, rest. This graph right here is perfect. You can see the lub is at least twice as big as the dub and then the space here is half as long as this rest period. You want the rest period to be longer and everything here is great. Now let's show you um, my, the first case study. Okay, here we go. The first one is the mitral valve. We got four valves for each uh, form. And you can see it's missing a whole cycle. There's no love space dub in here where my arrow is. And then we have love space dub here. It looks pretty clean, but it's missing a whole cycle. Look at this tricuspid valve. This is flutter. And then we have love space dub where my arrow is. And then more flutter. That, that's, a, that's a nervous system problem right there. And then the aortic valve, it's missing a whole cycle of love space dub. This is weird skipping beats. And if he were go, to go to hospital and get an EKG or something, the doctors would say, oh, you have a bad heart. And then, so this guy tells his siblings and tells his spouse and, and the grandkids are worried. Grandpa has a bad heart. And so the doctor is going to drug him. What? How does that fix anything? It doesn't. Or they might cut him with a knife. Or they might shock him with electricity. The way you fix this is with nutrition. That's the only way to fix it. So the pulmonic valve down here, we have lub, space, lub, space, lub. There's no dub there. Now, he's got the, the there is a dub in the heart, right? It's not not dubbing. <laughs> it doesn't have, it's not missing the second sound. But the second sound is so faint with the pulmonic valve that it just doesn't, doesn't show up on the graph. All right, now this was August 15th of 2019. Let's see what happens three months later. Now, I put him on supplements. He changed his diet. We addressed parasites, the lymphatic system, liver, heart, bladder, vitamin K2, vitamin D3, digestion. We looked at this holistically. So the problem is when the blood is dirty and hypoxic, this is what the heart ends up doing. How do you clean this out? You got to get the organs functioning well. How do you... Um, get the oxygen up you got to have the right food what's the best food for this red meat but you got to be able to, di to digest it so there's a lot of factors here it's a very holistic viewpoint three months later it looks like this this is november 14th 2019 look it's beautiful here's love space dub rest love space dub rest there's no missing cycles and the dub is present here we go love space dub rest love space dub rest for all four valves the dub is present so there's a lot of improvement here in three months and of course the patient feels better more energy uh, more strength a lot of symptoms are gone like he says all the symptoms are gone and so you can see it in the heart it's reflecting in this heart sound recorder machine the last case study is this heart sound recorder this guy came in he saw me Five visits in three days. This was day one, first visit, and you can see lub, space, dub, rest. Now the lub is too long, and then the rest is too short. Here's lub, space. There's no dub here. And again, the lub, space, and there's no dub, and the lub is too long. So he's missing the dub for the aortic, the mitral valve and the tricuspid valve. The aortic valve looks pretty good, but the dub is too tall. It needs to be half the size of the lub. All right, too tall here, too tall here. Same thing with the pulmonic valve. The dub is too big, it's too tall. So three days later, let's look at the results. Here we have lub, space, dub, rest. Lub, space, dub, rest. Lub, space. It's missing a dub here, but it looks much better. The tricuspid valve is much stronger and it's not missing any dub. The aortic and pulmonic valves have a smaller dub. So this is perfect. This is a much better heart improvement in three days. 
how do we fix this? We address the calcification in his arteries with um, healthy fats, the NanoBacTX product, which is designed to reduce the calcium embedded in the arteries. Uh, put them on magnesium, which is great for the nervous system of the heart, adrenal support, liver support, and mitochondrial function enhancement with various supplements regarding that to increase the energy in the mitochondria and therefore in the cells, making everything work better. So just in three days and he was feeling better. So there you go. If you want this done, if you want to come to my office, you got to come to Ann Arbor. We can run this on you. But if, you, if you're looking for somebody near you, contact the manufacturer. They're based out of Denver. They sell it out of Denver. And I can put the link below and ask them for a referral and they can hook you up with somebody maybe who lives near you. If you are a holistic practitioner, you can buy this machine and you can run it on people. I run this on every single new patient. I used to run another machine called the Heart Rate Variability, HRV, but that machine broke and I never bought it again because I'm having so much fun and such great results with this. So not only can you identify nutritional deficiencies here, meaning number one, the nervous system of the heart, and number two, the actual structure and function of the heart, but you can also monitor and you can um, get some really good suggestions of regarding specific nutritional supplements depending on what's happening with the heartbeat. So if the dub is too big or if you're missing a cycle or if there's flutter, there's different supplements that fix that. And this has been tried and true since it was invented in 1938. And there's charts made that people worked on for decades. And we have these charts now. It's a shame that hospitals won't use this. The machine itself is too inexpensive. A hospital won't look at a machine unless it's a quarter million dollars because they can um, like charge a lot per service. But with this, it's any it's maybe around three to four thousand dollars. And I can't don't quote me on that price. But that's super cheap for the value that you get from this. And therefore, when you run this on patients, you don't have to you don't have to charge that much because you didn't have to put out so much money at the beginning anyways. So I'll put the link below. And uh, like I said, if you are interested in getting your heart checked out for this and put and uh, going on a program to improve the health of your heart and your arteries and your body, you can contact the office, you can call us or email us, and I'll put that below too. If you like this information, please give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe. This is the information that Google and YouTube hate. They are cracking down on my channel. They won't share my videos anymore. Um, I won't have any more viral videos. They shut that down. And they're unsubscribing people. They unsubscribe my mom and about four other people that are close to me. And um, But anyways, yeah, because I tell you this kind of information. This is the information that bankrupts pharma and, and hospitals and medicine. This is so cheap and so inexpensive and so easy to use. But I'm working my way to um, not rely on YouTube. I'll still use YouTube, but I've spent the last four months hard at work making a document. I've talked about this in other videos, but we're going to release this in blogs and as an ebook and online learning courses. Most of this is going to be free. Some of the learning courses will be charged, but the ebook's going to be free and the online learning courses are going to be free. The videos are going to be free. I'm setting this whole thing up so that you can learn in stages and get it all and be reminded of what you did learn and but what, and I'll give you like hints as to what you will learn and you'll have it all together all at once. So something to look forward to, I'm just telling you I'm like working day and night on this at every spare moment that I have. 